Okay guys, today I'm going to show you part of the cake that I'm doing for this week. It's going to have one of these beautiful isomalt sails on top filled with some, some goodies. Um, so what you're going to need, I'm going to set this aside so I don't break it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What you're going to need is a bag of isomalt. There's many different brands out there. I got this one on Amazon. It's Celebrakes. Celebrakes, Celebakes, not breaks. You don't want to break this. Celebakes, isomalt crystals. You're going to need a torch because isomalt likes to fog over when it cools. And it's in inevitable, almost inevitable, that you're going to need this to uh, heat up the isomalt once it's dried and cooled so that it gets that fog dissipates after you do that. So you have that. I have some glasses stacked up, or you could use a vase, anything that you can drape the silicone mat, mat over to form the folds in the sail. I'm using these. You want it to be high enough so that your isomalt isn't, or your mat's not touching the table, the work surface. Otherwise, it'll create some funky folds and things in the actual isomalt sail. Um, you can use water. The directions on the package say to use water mixed with the isomalt. I did that this last one, but this time I'm going to try clear corn syrup. I've heard this works also. Hopefully this works because this is going to be in the video. <laughs> clear corn syrup, some toothpicks, and some color gels to marble in the colors that are going to be in the cake. You can leave it clear. You can also clear or color all of the isomalt. You don't have to just marble it. There's many different techniques. Go ahead and Google it. Check it out on, on YouTube, um, lots of ideas. And then I've got some clips, just in case I need to help the mat fall in the way I want it to. So you've got all those things. And then, let me move these to the side here so you can see what I'm using. Get out of my way, get out of my way. I'm using this silicone mat to form the sail on, since it's heat proof or heat resistant anyway. You can see how it's kind of modeled a little bit from doing this. You can, I like this one because it folds better. It's lighter weight, which is part of the reason that it's wanting to soften up on me there. Um, it's lighter weight and it hangs better. You could use like one of these macaron mats. It's sil silicone also, which is heat resistant. This is thicker, but it's not going to, see how it kind of just folds in the middle? You would have to do more with the clips to get it to, to fold the way you want it. Where this one, when you put it on there, and it just drapes right over. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to switch over to the stove top and show you how I melt.
through there. We'll see which one I like better when I'm done. Which one I actually use. Okay, so now. abstract thing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. At all. I'm trying to get some of that color on the ends. On the outside edges. Very delicate judgment on when when you need to drape it over your cups. want it to be too thin or too melted you don't want it to be too um thick. although you can use your torch to soften it and get it to go where you want I think starting to So as it falls down, it's going to um, create its own design. Okay, so I'll put this on and then I'm going to quickly move it onto the mat. You want to find the center or you don't have to use the center if your design that you're going for has, if you want it asymmetrical or not. Just let it fall. Ah, nope. I don't want this to drape. Well, if it does, it does. There it goes. Use your torch. And actually, this happens. Let me show you. You can actually cut it off. You can see this. You can actually cut it off. And it will create another. You don't want to touch it though. This stuff is hot. Very hot. See, this one's doing it too. Going a little crazy. Put that up. Same here. I just said don't touch it, and then I touch it. But I can tell that it's to a point where it's kind of moldable and not scorching hot. I actually like that point. I like that. I hope I don't break that accidentally. All right. Do your thing, I come out. Keep going. What happens, it happens. happening there is it's still thicker here and it's dripping down. Even though it's starting to cool down here. See, I can touch it now, but I <laughs> don't do as I say, don't do as I do. I just want to form a nice end.
go in. All right, I think that's it. Now I'm gonna paint the edges with my gold luster dust and my, um, let's see how, it, how this looks like. I'm sorry, I like the other one better. I like this one. I think we're going with this one. I'm gonna paint it with the edible gold. Oh, here we go, I wanna show you. I used the cornstarch in this one, right? This one I didn't, I used water. Can you see the difference in, this one looks a little yellow. This one's clear. Yeah, that's a good, good thing to do. Use the corn syrup, guys, use the corn syrup. So I'm gonna paint this up and I've got my gold balls that are gonna go as part of the decoration and then I've got some fruit that I'm gonna dust also. But I also need to do the gold um, marbling on the cake. So that's next. Nice.